today, we're looking at whether you should buy this Panzer glass screen protector or this Otterbox film screen protector for your Google Pixel 6. Both of these are Google certified, so you'll encounter no issues with the fingerprint reader. Let's start off with installing the Panzer glass protector and review it from there. First of all, you'll need to remove any case you have and also turn off the phone. This will stop the screen from coming on during the installation. Now, clean the screen with the included wipes, making sure you remove all dirt from the screen. Now, you'll need to dry it with the included microfiber cloth. Ensure you remove all moisture from the screen. Next, use the dust collector and dab it on the screen to remove any dust. Take your time with this step as it's very important not to get anything trapped underneath the protector. I really appreciate the size of the dust collector that Panzer Glass give you, as you're able to pick up more dust easily. Next, peel back the tab labelled 1. Carefully align the protector with the phone and place it down. Now check the protector is in the correct place and that you're happy with it. Then draw a U shape on the screen to start sticking it down. Now you can peel back tab 2. If there are any bubbles, make sure you work them towards the edge of the screen protector using either your finger or the included microfiber cloth. Now the screen protector is installed, you'll need to go into your phone settings and add your fingerprint again. Our fingerprint works straight away, however it's always recommended to add it afterwards as it will increase accuracy. Now we can see the screen protector installed, we can tell it is incredibly thin. It adds almost nothing to the phone's thickness. The protector, however, doesn't cover the whole front of the glass, so it is something to keep in mind when purchasing. The best thing about this screen protector is that we've not had any issues with the fingerprint reader slowing down. Panzer Glass is known for its quality glass screen protectors, and this is certainly no different. Panzer glass screen protectors include an antibacterial film coating. This is proven to kill 99.9% .9 of germs that touch the glass screen protector. Next up, let's install the Otterbox film screen protector and see how it compares. Now the installation method is a little bit more intense with this one. However, it is one of the easiest film screen protectors that I've ever installed. This is thanks to the good job Otterbox has done with the accessories that are included in the box. So, although there's only one film screen protector in here, don't be put off as you'll be able to install it perfect first time. First of all, remove any case and turn off your phone to stop the screen turning on. Now, grab the included phone bar that is included in the package and stick it to your table. You'll need to do this first, so it gives it time to stick to the table securely. Next up, insert the plastic alignment tool into your Pixel's USB-C port, making sure that the three tabs are facing up with the screen. Now, clean the screen thoroughly with the included wet wipe, then wipe dry with the microfiber cloth. Take your time and ensure no oil or dirt is left. Next dab the screen with the dust sticker. Again, ensuring you lift up every little bit of dust as if any gets trapped, it will ruin the look of the screen. Now, you can grab the screen protector and peel back tab one. Next, secure the screen protector on the alignment tool, being careful not to place the center of the screen protector on the phone until it's on the alignment tool. This can be a little bit tricky, but take your time as it's only the center part of the screen protector that is exposed. Once it's secured, press your finger between the two dotted lines to stick this part down. Now, you can push the top of the phone against the foam bar we stuck down earlier. Now, bend the top of the protector in half to split the screen protector and the plastic backing. Grab the squeegee and slide it along the screen protector up to the top. This will stick the screen protector while also releasing the plastic back. Next, 
Pull Tab 2 up and remove the alignment tool. Turn the phone around so the bottom of the phone is now pushed up against the phone. Now, repeat the step from before and grab the squeegee tool to push down on the screen and apply the screen protector while releasing the plastic back. You can now pull the protective layer from the outside of the film. If you have any bubbles, press and push them towards the side of the film to release them. Now the screen protector is installed, you'll need to add your fingerprint again. You can do this in the settings menu. Our fingerprint works straight away, however it's always recommended to add it after as it will increase accuracy. Now although the Panzer glass screen protector was incredibly thin, this one is even thinner as it's made out of film. It adds almost nothing to the phone's thickness. I will say this Otterbox one is also a lot closer to the edges of the phone in comparison to the Panzer glass one. This will in turn give you a little bit more protection to the edges of the screen. Both of these screen protectors are great, however I personally have to give it to Panzer glass as I think the texture of the glass makes it feel like you're just touching the screen compared to this film one which does feel a little bit grippier. I also can't help but think that the glass one has to protect your phone a little bit more than the film one. The film will work great for scratches, however, when it comes to shattering the glass, I don't know whether it will help that much. Thanks for watching this video all about Google Pixel 6's certified screen protectors. Make sure you like and subscribe for more.